Hello Danvers and welcome to another exciting edition of Danvers Daily. As you saw in the intro, we're going to be looking back at the year of 2023 and what an awesome year it was. And we'll also take some time to look ahead because 2024 is going to be even better. So today, I'm welcome to be joined by two people who are uh, experts in all things DCAT. That would be one Jack Sapino, the public access coordinator here at DCAT, and Mr. Jim White. Uh, member of the year yep. for hey. 2023, <laughs> so who else would be better Thank you, to sir. talk about uh, all things DCAT than, than these two. So um, I think maybe we'll start with just talking a little bit about what was your favorite part of 2023. Right, so my favorite part of 2023 was working with my volunteers. Um, I've seen a lot of progression, a lot of learning experience from it. And I've seen a lot of different creative ideas that they had. Um, some of the pictures show Endicott. Some of the pictures show Jim Light crackling um, <laughs> a fortune cookie. But in all reality, it's all about their learning experience and just taking their time to learn with me. And so I really appreciate how much um, they've done this year, especially. Jim, what about you? What do you yes. got? What was exciting for you? Ah, uh, well... Um Covering the uh, summer concerts, okay, was very exciting, okay. We were fortunate uh, enough uh, with each concert, okay, to have three cameras plus an additional camera that was focused on the, on the drummer, okay. And uh, it gave it a, a more professional look rather, rather than just having one camera mm -hmm. stagnant, okay. Absolutely. Uh, that was, very, that was very, very exciting. Another exciting... Uh, <laughs> program that that we did was interviewing the the girls basketball team oh yeah all of them uh, all of them <laughs> okay and, and and it was very impromptu we had 13 girls giggling high school girls seated here and uh, and Jack was into it was interviewing the coach so uh, so when Jack was interviewing the coach we would try to line line up the camera Okay, for a close-up shot for one of the girls to speak, and the girls got camera shy. Say hi, my name is Ruth, and, and she passed the mic. So we were, we so we were trying to, tr you know, trying to grab the uh, uh, a close-up on the appropriate girl at the right time. Absolutely, that was so, a fun time. That, that was that was uh, so funny. Let's look at some visuals. So, oh, and I think you got some some photos lined up back there. Hey, look at that one. So there's one. Corey. Corey behind the camera. Corey also behind the camera today in the studio. Thank you, Corey. So this is Parade of Trees yep. for a few weeks ago. So, Jack, you went in and covered this. This was really cool. A huge event. A big sort of a thing that pops up in the calendar every December with the Historical Society. Yeah. I think that when we look at the back at the Parade of Trees and the filming process that went into it, we really wanted to go in and capture every tree in detail and give credit to the people that really take their time to design these trees and kind of put forth um, their creative ideas right in front of you so you can watch it at home. So Corey did a really good job filming, um, capturing each individual tree, um, and then we just kind of sat down and put it all together, and we really wanted it to be a special thing for people who cannot view it um, in person but can view it at home. So um, that's what we wanted to go with, and I thought it came out really well, and I was very happy Absolutely. with this project. All right, what do we got next? Hey. Oh, there, I know hey. that, guys. There's me and Gala. This is a really fun one. I'll keep this one quick. This is the Wiffle Bowl, which is a new event from the Danvers Falcon Fest. This was really fun. Go take some photos, take some video, get out. Um, props to Falcon Fest. I think they had a really great 2023. It was a new event. A lot of, uh, they should be very proud of what they pulled off. Absolutely. What do we got next? Claire. This is Claire. Claire. This is Cup Park. Yeah, and the Cup Park. So this was an awesome experience, and I really want to do more of these outside shoots because I learned so much about the volunteers, like I said, and it starts with how they can adapt while using a camera in an environment. Um, and so we went to Endicott Park and filmed. Um, I said, just, you know, let, let your mind run wild. Go ahead and film things that you wouldn't uh, film on a daily basis. They went out and filmed nature, and they went out and filmed um, some of the animals. Claire focused on a lot of the animals aspect, um, and it's out on the DCAT members page as well. Jim Light also did it. Absolutely. So maybe you can talk a little bit about your experience with Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Okay. It was it was a great experience. Okay. Uh, one of the one of the most educational things that I got out of it, okay, was that uh, first of all we were we were on site at Endicott Park for probably around four, four and a half hours. I I took about twenty minutes worth of uh, worth of video video programming. In the editing room, okay, we boiled that down to five. Okay, so so much so much work was needed needed to to be done to get 
four hours of physical work to 20 hours of video to really five minutes of interesting video. Okay, so it's so pretty it's good a, ratio a, too. Really, it was, a, yeah, it, was a, a it, it was a really it's nice cool. appreciation about what go, what goes into uh, to produce something that's really uh, viewer worthy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. And we got uh, another some more visuals. <laughs> yep. Oh, this was really fun. So this was the <laughs> Habitat for Humanity uh, Women Build Day. That was really great. So there's Gala waving, Claire, Jim. I see you putting the mic on. Yep. Jack, I see you waving. That was really fun. So that project we. We initially started filming at this build site. Um, it was in Wenham, I believe. Hamilton. Hamilton, thank you. I just mixed those two up. And it was um, it was basically a hole in the ground or just yeah. nothing. And now it's really coming along. So it's it, it's a really great project. Definitely worth checking that one out. That was a super fun day. I love yeah, those days when you can get out uh, and get active and there's a lot of visual visuals to, to take a... We took so many like photos and videos too and then end up kind of going back and looking at them. I thought it was really cool. But also the awareness of what Habitat for Humanity is. Okay, I I, I really wasn't that wasn't that familiar with it. Okay, and uh, uh, the, what they do is absolutely fantastic. It really, it's really really great work. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Let's see the next one. Ah, sports. Who can sports. forget uh, every sport <laughs> that we've covered? This one is what game is this? Football. Football. That's Talking our about Thanksgiving the fact that I see game. Owen there doing a, doing some commentary. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So let me talk about, I, I actually really wanted to know how many sports we did cover this year uh, rather than last year, but I didn't know the details. But um, I'm very proud of uh, a lot of people who stepped up this year. Um, you know, from people who, who have been here, who people who've left, they've really helped out um, through the 2023 season. And um, they've really made it something that I don't think has ever been involved in Danvers for a long time. Right. Um, and, you know, we've learned so much this year about how to capture the the moments in sports and how to kind of go about it um, from the Falcons' corners perspective and also from just being there and being proud to cover uh, Denver sports. Um, it's an honor. Great and job. And a lot of people have stepped up, and I'm really proud of that. Yep. Yeah, should, congrats should, to the kids. Some good seasons. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, some so good seasons. Mixed good in there. seasons. Some good seasons, um, some great moments, some wild moments. Um, <laughs> in terms of highlights and I've had a lot of ex experience and so much fun covering these games that I've been able to really put together these highlights as well. Um, but yeah, the, the, the students, unbelievable. Some of these athletes just, you know, they go out and have fun, but they put on a show. And I think that's the most important thing is that they're having fun and they're also entertaining you. So do we have more photos? I have no idea. Yes, we do. All right, let's go. <laughs> See the next one. Hey, hey, there's someone who's just in the office, Mr. D. Joko. Yep. Uh, one of our one of our many volunteers. So helping hand think, award. Yeah, yeah, you're the one to talk about D. because you work with him the most. Uh, yeah, I definitely um, am very happy and very honored to work with D. Um, very happy to give him the helping hand award as he's helped me throughout sports and and filmed many different events here in Danvers. Um, I've had a lot of experience with working with D. And I've just learned so much about um, D and how he's so creative um, when it comes to. He's so active in the community. He's so yeah, active. He, that's you know? that's the word I was going to yeah. use. He's so quite, active. Yeah. Quite possibly the most giving person with his time. Absolutely. In, Absolutely. In the town. He's incredible. Absolutely. And he's actually editing right now, so. Um, <laughs> Hopefully, you he can hear us. Give him compliments. <laughs> yeah. So um, he he's helped out with basketball in many different events. Um, he's helped out a lot this year. Moving into the next year, he'll be with me uh, through basketball. So I really appreciate. His commitment to that. Absolutely. All right, awesome. We got yeah. a couple more, I think. Keep them rolling. Hey. Uh, oh, look. Yeah, who's that? You might recognize him from uh, your TV screen. Who I think that? we talked about this earlier, but you can personally talk about this. Yes. Okay. Uh, we were given an assignment by our boss, Mr. Jack Zappino, okay, to to focus on something called a Foley project, okay, and uh, and Foley uh, is really the buzzwords for special sound effects, okay, whether, whether they be in movies, television, whatever, okay. So anyway, uh, each one of the three, volu four volunteers, okay, were asked to uh, capture a scene, a, a scene from a, a, from a Christmas movie uh, and take out the audio and make your own sound effects, okay. So uh, uh, one of my personal favorite is, uh, uh, is, is the movie It's a Wonderful Life. So I, so I captured the scene of George Bailey uh, running through town saying hooray, hooray, hooray while, while it's snowing. And that particular photo 
has me tapping a fortune cookie in a wrapper, crack, 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 which oddly enough accurately represents George running through crusted snow. Mm. So that's what that photo is about. Very, very cool. <laughs> very cool. Absolutely. Think we got another one? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, so summer concerts. Summer here, yeah. concerts. Maybe you can talk a little bit about that. Um, I'd like to just say real quick. I'd like to just say real quick that the summer concert series. I have learned so much about um, the bands and so much about you guys really helping out and you know giving that direction of this is how this how this camera here on the guitar this camera on the singer and then this is the middle camera and then just kind of see how you guys ran with that maybe you could talk about a little bit about that advice that I gave absolutely. you and how you learned from absolutely. that absolutely okay um, uh, we had once again left left center right cameras yep. okay plus a, plus a fixed camera on the on the on the drummer and we developed a uh, chemistry in, be, in between the, the three camera folks, uh, knowing which angle each one uh, was, was appropriately uh, uh, basically recording. Uh, one, of the, one of the funniest, one of the, one of the most entertaining things I got out of it, okay, was realizing when one of the other camera folks had a close-up or was really covering I was able to swing the camera into the crowd, mm. okay, and you get kids dancing and older people waving their hands to the music, and and there was a there was a lot of candid activity, okay, that uh, uh, that we were we were able to incorporate in, in into the video, okay, once again, which made it a lot more livelier than just one camera stationary filming filming a band, and um, I thought I thought each one of those concerts came out great. Yeah, I do too. I think when we look at the individual concert, we definitely had a spin on each one. Um, we incorporated the camera on the drummer. Yep. And we were able to kind of capture that moment with the drummer and kind of give everyone actually their like their spotlight. Exactly. So I thought that was really cool, and I had a lot of fun. So doing did that. I. So did I. I think we had one more photo. I was just told through the glass. Uh, there there it is. Hey. The connection to most recent event. Uh, so this is really fun. This is our nonprofit networking and promotion night. So we brought in 14 nonprofit groups, and they talked about their mission um, and what they had offered to the community and how you could volunteer. And we did back to back to back to back to back Absolutely. interviews. Absolutely. So it's the classic thing in television where uh, it looks very calm and normal on <laughs> TV, and then if you could see behind the scenes, you see all the people running around and making it happen. <laughs> but that's a fun event because there's just a lot that goes into it. So with that. I want to close it out, but I want to say a few things first. Thank you to Jack. Thank you to Jim. Thank you to all thank of you. our volunteers. Thank you to Absolutely. all the staff. Thank you to the board. I feel like I'm giving an Academy Award speech, but there's the thing about DCAT is it's a community television station, which means there's an incredibly large community of people that make it happen. So thank you to all those people. And I have one promise to make to everyone right now. 2024 will be even better. Yay. A lot of exciting stuff on the horizon. We'll get there with it. We'll... We'll uh, wrap this one, but there's uh, some big stuff coming down for 2024, and we're really excited. And I'm excited to go into next year. I get some energy. I am ready. Energy. I'm ready to take this long weekend and come out <laughs> on the other side in 2024 and get after it. It's going to be great. So We're, we're ready. We're ready. Right. I want to thank Corey and Owen for uh, running the show today. And uh, Ginny in the background. Yeah. Yep. Everybody yeah, in D. Yeah. Editing. D editing back there. <laughs> thank you, everyone. I hope you have an awesome 2024. I hope your 2023 was good to you, and I hope 2024 is even better. So thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.